Hello, my name is Tom Kime and I'm here with Janine Clements. Hello Janine, how are you? I'm well Tom, yourself? Yeah, very good. Now you're the head chef of Cooking for Blokes. Yes, that's correct. Tell I me am. tell me a, a little bit about that. Well, Cooking for Blokes is a school that's been set up to teach people the foundations of how to become a good cook. What a great idea. What yeah. we're going to do today is we're going to make a fantastic warm chorizo salad with roast sweet potato, some oyster mushrooms and a green chilli and lemon zest sauce. Can you make the dressing for me? Certainly. Excellent. So if you could just cut those in half, take the seeds out, finely chop the green chilli, um, then if you could just zest me some lemon and put it in there with a little bit of salt, pepper and a little pinch of sugar. Certainly. That's great. Now what I'm going to do is cut up this chorizo sausage. Chorizo sausage is a, is a Spanish style of sausage. You get two types. One is kind of more cured like a salami, whereas this is kind of semi-cured and it's more like a sausage. So it works very well to cook it. Okay. Make sure you turn the board over after preparing some raw meat. What I've got here is some oyster mushrooms, beautiful mushrooms, and I'm just going to tear them up. Don't need a knife for this, just tear them up so they're all the same sort of uh, shape and they're going to cook nice and evenly. What's great about this salad is you have a combination of all your flavours. You have hot and spicy from the sausage and from the green chilli. You have sourness from the lemon zest. You have sweetness from the sweet potato and then it's all well seasoned and also the sausage is quite salty as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the chorizo in one pan and the mushrooms in another. Everything's always got to go into a hot pan. It means that it starts cooking straight away, especially with something like mushrooms, lots of water. We need to start them cooking so they really get a beautiful golden brown color on them. And while they're cooking, I'm going to ask Janine about this fantastic kitchen. We've been looking for a kitchen for a while. Yeah. This um, building itself, which is Club Willoughby in Willoughby in yeah. New South Wales, the building itself was built in 1969. Yep. Yeah. This kitchen used to be the main function kitchen, but and th these tiles are original from that yeah, time. Yeah, original. Oh, yeah, I think from the early 1970s. Great place for a cooking school. So yeah. if you could just um, zest that lemon juice, that would be yep. great. I'm now going to chop some parsley, and when you're chopping fresh herbs for a salad like this, make sure you just chop them right at the end before you're ready to use them. Just roll them into a bit of a bundle, and we're just going to roughly chop them like that, making sure your fingertips are well out of the way. And just... Okay, so in that dressing, if you could just add a little bit of salt, a pinch of sugar, a little bit of pepper, and then top it up with some olive oil. That'd be great. Yes. It's a really delicious dressing, this, with uh, these beautiful sweet potatoes and the salty heat from the sausages. This could just go back into that bowl for the moment. Now, what I've got here is some roasted sweet potato, very simple, just some olive oil, some salt and pepper and they're just roasted in the pan. The key to roasting them is that you want to keep them all separated in the pan so they don't all mulch together and make a kind of mashed potato. So those are going to go in there like that. I've got some rocket, which I'm just going to tear those leaves into this salad. Just leave them all to one side so we can add the next bits. So my mushrooms are just about done. Beautiful golden brown colour, okay, hardly any liquid. They're just going to go on the board like that. Just a little bit of parsley is going to go in there and just a little bit of fresh lemon juice, which just wakes up all the flavours and just makes them really delicious. And those can go into our warm salad there like that. And now I'm going to bring over my chorizo, which is cooking. We don't need to add all this oil. We're just going to spoon the warm chorizo into our dish like this. I love chorizo, don't you? It's such a great sausage. Fantastic. So the spring onions are just about done. We've got a beautiful dressing. It's a really simple salad. It's great for a, a barbecue or a, you know, just a group of people. It's such a fantastic group of flavors. Now I'm just going to add the last of my parsley. That's just going to go in there like that, okay? And then we've got this fantastic dressing. If you can just drop those in there, that'd be great. And we've got a beautiful hot and sour dressing, which is just going to get mixed together. It smells fantastic. It's good colours, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Can you just go and get that large plate for me? That'd be great. So here we have a warm salad of chorizo, roast sweet potato, oyster mushrooms with a green chilli and lemon zest dressing. And it's just a fantastic combination of all of our good flavours. We're just going to put that on the plate, just a little bit of centre height. Height's good. Height's always good, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if you didn't like the mushrooms, you could maybe use some asparagus instead. 
And if you didn't like the chorizo, I mean, it'd be pretty sad if you didn't like the chorizo, but if you didn't like the chorizo, you can maybe do the salad with some goat's cheese instead, which is also quite salty, and you just might have to put a little bit more green chili in the dressing. Here's our fantastic warm salad. How, how good does that look? I can't wait to taste it. Well, thank you so much for having us. We'll see you again.